I'm so glad you chose to join me today. In this video segment, we're going to be looking at calculations with pH using the hydronium ion and or the hydroxide ion. So this is a little square I developed that kind of lays out the possibilities of um, where we'll be heading here. So if we started with, let's start with our H plus. Um, from our proton or our hydronium ion, remember that's the same thing as H3O+. Plus. Um, there's a couple of things we can do. We can calculate pH or we can calculate hydroxide. Now, this is a formula I discussed earlier in one of my video segments that H plus times OH minus is always equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. I say always, but that's always if we're at 25 degrees Celsius. And, and most problems are going to um, be at 25 degrees Celsius unless clearly stated otherwise. All right, now one of the things that we did earlier is if we had a hydronium ion concentration of say 1 times 10 to the minus 6, we defined the pH as simply looking at that power. Now that's fine, um, that works quite well. We can just grab the power if the number in front is a one. Now this is our measurement, remember, and the power is our magnitude. What we're really different, uh, dealing with mathematically is a log base 10 system. So pH, is equal to the negative log of our hydronium ion concentration. Now we make it the negative log because since this power is negative, um, we would have ended up with a negative pH scale and that's always awkward. So if we do this, we end up with a positive pH scale. So if we want to go from H plus to pH, we're going to use pH is equal to the negative log of H3O plus. Now, what if we wanted to go the other direction? What if we knew our pH and we wanted to find our H plus or our H3O plus? Very common question because we can measure pH in the lab and, and then we need to calculate with the hydronium ion when we work with reactions. So to do that, um, you can memorize that if you want. So H plus is 10 to the minus pH, or you can learn to do your algebra. So that's minus the log of, I'm going to switch to H plus out of simplicity, H plus. Now, if this is um, my unknown and I want to solve for my H plus, the first thing I'm going to do is bring that negative over. So I'd have negative pH is equal to my log of H plus. Now my opposite operation to log base 10 is 10 to the power. So if I took 10 to the power of both sides, okay, then what we find is that cancels, just like Division is the opposite operation of multiplication. So that part cancels, and I'm left with 10 to the minus pH is equal to my H plus molarity. Okay? So that's part of our little map here that we have. The other part is that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. That's derived directly from this formula, and you don't have to derive that formula, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. I showed that in an earlier video when I was talking about the pH scale. Okay, So that's a very handy little formula. Now, pOH, if you put that P in front, in this case the OH, that little lowercase p says take the negative log of whatever follows. Okay, and so we'd have pOH 
is equal to minus the log of the OH minus concentration. And then we have a mirrored formula just like we had for the H plus. Okay. Now, so far we've seen all of these as being one step problem. If you have OH minus and you're going to pH or vice versa, that will always, always be a two-step problem. So if you've got hydroxide, you can either go to POH and then to pH, or you can go to H3O plus and then to pH. Okay. If you're given pH, it would just be kind of going the opposite way around. You can go to H plus and then you can go to OH minus or you can go to POH and then OH minus. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, two different ways to get to the same corners. So if you're in opposite corners, there or there, or here or here, okay, it's a two-step problem. So you'll want to familiarize yourself um, pretty well with this little map. Let's apply this map to a few quick questions. So in this case, it says what it says it gives me my hydronium ion concentration as 4.3 times 10 to the minus 6. And it asks me what my hydroxide ion concentration is. And then it asks me another question, is it acidic or basic? To do that, we'll compare our relative molarities of H3O plus and OH minus. Our formula is given right here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 4.3 times 10 to the minus 6 times my molarity of a hydroxide is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 because we're assuming 25 degrees Celsius. And if I solve that question, then I get an answer of 2 sig figs, 2.3 times 10 to the minus ninth, and don't forget your units, molarity. Those brackets are a symbol. Brackets aren't a unit. So you can't say brackets equal. So, I mean, that's fine, you can, but you still need that molarity. You still need that unit, all right? And again, always double check my algebra just in case I made a mistake as I was getting ready. All right, the next one is very similar. Um, this time we're going from hydroxide ion to my H+. Plus. So let me get a color that'll work. I'm going from hydroxide to my H+. Plus. So I have my H plus concentration times 1.6 times 10 to the minus fifth is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th molar. And the answer I got to two sig figs is 6.3 times 10 to the minus 10th molar. Okay, so let's take a look at these two and decide is this, are these solutions acidic or basic? So in this case, my H3O plus is greater than my OH minus. And since that's the case, it's acidic. Okay. Now, in this case, my hydroxide ion being 10 to the minus fifth is greater than my H plus. Notice I'm going back and forth between hydronium and proton. You've got to be able to do that. Okay, so that's only 10 to the minus 10. That's a much smaller number. So this solution is a basic solution. Okay, let's try a few more. Okay. So this time we're given the pOH. So we have pOH is equal to 5.6. And the question is, what is the pH? So that's a pretty straightforward question. pH plus pOH at 25 degrees Celsius is 14. And so pH 
plus 5.6 is equal to 14 pH in this case is equal to 8.4. Okay. Now, 8.4 is greater than 7, meaning we have a basic solution. Okay. Next one, what is the pH? So this time I have H3O plus. 5.5 times 10 to the minus 10, and I want to know what the pH is. It's helpful to be able to estimate this. So if you look at that 10 and go down by 1, my pH should be 9 point something. Okay, and so let's see what we get when we plug this in. So pH is equal to minus the log of 5.5, our H plus, 10 to the minus 10, and if you plug that into your calculator, we do get 9.26, okay? And that is greater than seven, so again, it's a basic solution, okay? You might have been able to tell that from here because if you look at your H3O plus concentration, neutral is to the minus seven. I have a lot less hydronium ion than 10 to the minus seven. So that could give you another clue that it's basic. Okay, So I feel like I missed a question here, but I don't. OK, so this next one, what um, OK, I've got a solution. If the pH is known to be 4.2, what is the hydrogen ion concentration? So H3O plus is equal to 10 to the minus 4.2. Now, you can't leave your number that way. You've got to actually perform that mathematics, and you would get 6.3 times 10 to the minus fifth, and don't forget molar. Now, I want to say something about significant figures. When we have pH, as we look at the number, this number in front is magnitude. It's related to this negative 5. Okay, It's after the decimal point that we have measurement. Okay, So only numbers after the decimal point are significant figures. So in our case, we really only have one significant figure. So if I were to round that to significant figures, I'd have 6.3 times 10 to the minus fifth. pH is less than 7, so we didn't even need a calculation to tell us that that was an acidic solution. Okay, just a couple more quick ones here. So we have a pOH of 3.4. What is the H plus? Well, to do this, it's going to take two steps. So we can go one of two directions. I tend to like this top way, but there's nothing wrong with this bottom way. Okay, so for the top way, we'd have pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So pH would equal 14 minus 3.4. Okay, and um, then we would have, um, then we could take uh, 10 to the minus 14 minus 3.4. And if we did this, we're going to get 2.51 times 10 to the minus 11. 
and really we should round that to one sig fig. I hate one sig fig numbers, but it would be it would be three times ten to the minus eleventh molarity. Okay. So um, you could go this other direction as well. I don't have that algebra worked out, so I'm not going to do it. But our um, OH minus is going to equal 10 to the minus 3.4. And then we could plug that into our H plus times our OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. Okay, so we have one more. So this time I have the pH of a solution, and it's asking me what is my hydroxide concentration. This too is a two-step question. So pH is equal to 7.9. I can go to pOH, and from pOH I can go to OH minus. Or I can go from pH to H3O plus to OH minus. Okay, so if I did that first step, I would have my pOH would be 14 minus 7.9 would be equal to my pOH. So that would be 6.1. is my pOH. And then to find my OH minus, remember you take the opposite operation which is 10 to the minus 6.1 and you would get 7.94 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. Okay. Now we could have just as easily have gone the other direction. So my H3O plus is 10 to the minus pH, so that's 1.259 times 10 to the minus 8. And then we could go to OH minus because my H plus 1.259 times 10 to the minus 8 times my OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. And I get the same number. And again, unfortunately, we only have a one sig fig number that's quite normal, typical. So I would call this 8 times 10 to the minus 7th molar. Usually at a 10th grade level, teachers would not be too picky about sig figs with pH calculations. It wouldn't be till you get to advanced classes that you would see that happen. So I hope this was able to help you and that you can join me in my next video. Have a good day.